Good morning again for the third time. As always, this is Hollis, and last video we covered the Punnett square and how to use it across. So if you haven't seen it and aren't too sure about that stuff, click over here or use the link in the description. So we have a new goal this time. We're trying to produce a ball python that is both piebald and albino. A ball python can be albino or it can be piebald, but we want to see both of those recessive traits in one snake. In this example, you happen to have one female albino python that is heterozygous for the piebald trait, and you buy a male that looks normal but is heterozygous for both traits, or a double het. So first we need to figure out the possible combinations of those alleles that each parent could contribute. To make this easier, you could use the foil technique, or first, outer, inner, last, to make sure you get all of them. Now we draw a much bigger Punnett square and write the possibilities on one side for each parent. Then we let nature take its course. As you can see, we get a pretty mixed bag of possibilities. This is telling us that for each snake born of this cross, it has a 25% chance of being double het, 25% chance of being albino and het for piebald, 12.5% chance of being piebald and het for albino, etc, etc. But out of all that, we do have a 12.5% chance of getting exactly what we want, a python expressing both the piebald and albino traits. Again, this can apply to any combination of two independently sorted recessive traits. So that's it for now, keeping it short this time. Bye and good luck!